Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, give me a second here. Okay. Let's jump into it. So we've been watching uh, some severe thunderstorms. I, ha I I just started a stream because now we have multiple warnings. But um, we've had the one cell that kind of developed across Cherokee County, moved across Pittsburgh into Barton County, and then started to drop some very large hail. And then uh, that pushed through Barton County and then into Cedar and Dade County. You can still see those warnings going north of Springfield. New storms are popping up uh, Newton County, McDonald County, Benton County. And that's why we have severe thunderstorm warning in parts of Newton County, Northern Barrie, and then into southern parts of Lawrence County. So that's what we're kind of keeping our eyes on. Uh, let me check one thing here. Lawrence County. Da, la, 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 la. Yep. 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 Okay. Um, so we're going to continue to get thunderstorms. Now we, we do have storms on the Kansas side as well, but these are elevated. They are behind the front. If you live in Kansas, you can tell that the temperatures have quickly dropped. Uh, so those are just elevated in nature. Could get some pea sized hail, but really no severe thunderstorms out of that. We're mainly watching southwest Missouri, northwest Arkansas as these are going to explode as we go through the next uh, several hours and then really push right out of our region and then right into central Missouri. So already the Joplin, um, most of the Joplin metro is pretty much cleared of severe weather. This is extreme southwest Missouri into northwestern parts of Arkansas. Uh, so you can see all the warnings that we do have. Let's go ahead and I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. And we're going to check out this one's moving out of Cedar County. So we're going to let Springfield take care of that. We're watching this one uh, has greatly increased over the past, uh, gosh, 30 minutes or so. So this is a severe thunderstorm warning. And we have the hail core here. So we're looking just to the southwest of Monette. We are getting... Um, about half dollar size hail. So that is definitely big enough to do damage. This is going to push northeast toward Monette and then into southern parts of Lawrence County. You can see this extends back into eastern parts of Newton County, uh, east of Neosho. Uh, of course, they got the garage sale going on today. So these storms are now pushing out of Neosho, which is good. Uh, your threat is really going down. And then this storm's are really increasing as well northeastern parts of McDonald County. So here's I-49. So we're talking three, four, five miles east of I-49. This is going to, well, Stella's being affected, but uh, there is a hail core here, quarter size hail. So this one will most likely be severe shortly. Will affect Wheaton over toward Butterfield and then just to the north of Cassville. But we also have these storms continuing to uh, develop now in Benton County. So this is going to affect southern parts of Barry County. So we are getting half dollar size hail right on top of Bentonville. At this time, this cell is pushing east, northeast, all at about 30 miles per hour. So these are going to continue to explode um, and really affect Lawrence County and Barry County, eastern Newton, eastern McDonald and Benton County. All these other storms across the region, these are elevated in nature, meaning they're behind the cold front. So we don't have much in the way of a severe threat, but still could produce a little bit of um, a little bit of pea size hail. All right, let's see here. A lot of comments. You guys are. Let's see. Everybody's talking about the temperature dropping very quickly. Um, the winds have really picked up. Sarah, Benton County, Arkansas, McDonald County, you guys, I mean, a good 45 minutes before in the clear. Um, let's see, my husband is on Palm de Terre Lake. Yeah, the hail with those northern storms have been just atrocious. I mean, super, super large hail. So, and that's what we're going to continue to see as we go through the next couple hours until these storms are out of here. Uh, let's see. Checking out chat real quick all right so again so let's take a little bit of a tour here these cells fort scott up toward pleasanton uh again non-severe in nature but we're going to continue to have them kind of rotate around so you can see yates center for donia to independence the severe storms are going to be these guys these guys up here now pushing into central missouri have just dropped 
uh, amazing hell. I've seen all kinds of reports. Right here, let me change this up for you here real quick. Let me move that. Let me take a look here. Let's do this. Just so you can see where the hail has been. Okay, look at these hail tracks. I mean, this is crazy on the hail tracks. Let me go back to... Well, I'll go back two hours on me. But you can see, I mean, eastern Barton County and the Cedar... Uh, the northern parts of Dade County, just super large hail. But we're also getting some pretty good hail out of these storms here, eastern parts of Newton County. So this has been dropping quarter to half dollar size hail. So if you live in Monette or near Monette, uh, yeah, I'd definitely put your cars on the garage because that is producing hail. The one in McDonald County is starting to get a little bit of hail. One in Benton County has got large hail as well, uh, at least half dollar size. So uh, these are mainly hail makers. We're not seeing much in the way of rotation. We've had a little bit of mid-level rotation, but um, we uh, a storm in Barton County earlier was trying to drop a little bit of low-level rotation, but was just having a hard time doing it. These are going to be mainly hail makers. Okay. Uh, everybody, though, real quickly, if you live in Oklahoma, Kansas, really west of I-49, you are in the clear severe weather, even though we're still going to have some scattered thunderstorms through the afternoon. But the severe threat in our area in southwest Missouri, northeast or northwest, uh, geez, northwest Arkansas is only going to last for about the next 45 minutes and then it will be out of our region, but you can see our two big warnings here right on top of Monette large hail Let's See what I'm getting out of this uh, Let me switch this back up here so you can see better Let me check a couple things Uh, da, 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 da. uh, Sarah, uh, the hail size, uh, the way hail works is there's a freezing line halfway up in the cloud, so the rain rotates up and down through the cloud with the up and the down drafts. Uh, the more times it passes the freezing line, the bigger the hail gets, the stronger the storm is the longer it can hold that weight in the cloud and then when it can't hold it anymore it drops it so the stronger the storm the bigger the hail is pretty much uh, the easiest way to explain it all right so these storms are going to continue to explode so this uh springfield metro is really going to get into the action here in the next hour or two but again big hail core just west of monette uh so here's pierce city to Monette, pretty good hail core. It looks like it's just south where you see the pink, just south of Pierce City. So the biggest hail core is going to go right over Pierce City on the north side of Monette uh, and then continue to push in the southern parts of Lawrence County. Uh, it looks like this cell may go just north of Aurora, but of course we got more back to the south. All right, from Stark City, Newtonia, Stella uh, starting to calm down a little bit, Wheaton. Things are really picking up. Cassville, you're going to, a lot of people are down at Cassville, Roaring River. Uh, so let's see here. Here's Cassville. And then where it says Chain of Lakes here, just north of that is Roaring River. Um, so if you're down there, it's going to get real salty here pretty quick. Um, and then all the way back through Benton County, you can see the cell. That cell's uh, right on top of Bentonville. It's got a large hail core, half dollar size hail. A lot of thunder and a lot of lightning. So this is going to push into southern parts of Barry County. So this Bentonville storm will affect Roaring River through Table Rock. And then this cell, eastern parts of Newton County, is really going to affect Cassville. Um, and then this cell is going to continue to push into southern parts of Lawrence County and affecting Mount Vernon. Again, if you are dropping on, if you are behind this line of cells, even though we have thunderstorms, these are elevated in nature, so they will not become severe. They're just good old thunderstorms, but you could still get some pea-sized hail 
with these guys back in southeastern Kansas. Oklahoma, you are clear. Joplin Metro, you are clear of a severe threat. Uh, Nevada, Lamar, all clear of a severe threat. Neosho is now clear of a severe threat. Um, it's just to the east of Neosho. I know we got the garage sale, the massive garage sale going on in Neosho. Um, let's see, another little guy starting to pop up behind the cell near Pineville. So right along the I-49 corridor. And again, this cell's going to, in Bentonville, will push in the southern parts of Barry County. So pretty big cells. And we may get a few tornadoes out of these as they push east of us, um, where it gets into a little bit more unstable environment, south central Missouri. And then you can see these extend all the way down through Arkansas. So central Arkansas, uh, north central Arkansas is really going to rock later on today. I'm going to glance through a few comments here. Um, any more going to hit Newton County? Uh, no. After these pass, these are going to, Newton County will be in the clear. Uh, Kaylee says they are getting hail in Pierce City. Yeah, uh, I forgot to change the heading on the, before I did the live stream. So just ignore the heading. Yeah, temperatures dropped. Everybody's talking about the winds. Temperatures dropped. Yeah, pretty crazy winds. We're getting winds that are gusting up there quite a bit. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and zoom back in. Okay, so like Neosho down to Pineville, Anderson, you guys are all clear. Joplin is clear of a severe threat. Severe threat now is mainly Benton County, Barry County, and Lawrence County. An extreme eastern in Newton County. Let's see here. Um, again, Joplin's clear. If you live in Kansas, Oklahoma, you are clear. We only really have three counties that really have a severe threat from this point on. Uh, Goodman, uh, most of these are just east of you now. So that that's where the heaviest of these storms are. So again, Oklahoma's clear, Kansas, even though we have storms, clear of a severe threat. Southwest Missouri, let's, we'll just go through the counties. Um, let's see here, Vernon County, pretty much clear, Stockton clear, Greenfield clear, Lamar clear, Carthage clear, Neosho clear, Pineville clear. It's just this corridor here. So really from Lawrence County, Barry County, extreme eastern Newton, extreme eastern McDonald, and then down through Benton County that has um, the, the severe threat over the next 30 to 45 minutes. And again, this is all going to shift east to Springfield to Branson in the next 30 to 45 minutes. But again, the main threat in our area as these storms continue to strengthen is going to be very large hail. So you can see this new warning out until 3.30. Uh, so this is southern parts of Lawrence County, and this is going to be for hail. Let me see what the size is. So we're getting a 1.25 inch hail, which is a half dollar size hail. So that's pretty good size mm -hmm. hail uh, that is pushing through southern parts of Lawrence County. So this is now, let's see where the hail core is. This is now northeast of Pierce City, north of Monette, uh, continuing to push in the southern parts of Lawrence County. But again, these are mainly a hail threat. Very strong storms. This one is strengthening the hail core, moving across the McDonald Berry County line now. So just to the west of Cassville. So that hail core is strengthening. Most likely will probably get a severe thunderstorm warning on it. The guy in um, Benton County, the hail core has shrunk just a little bit. Still has quarter to half dollar size hail, but the core itself is weakened just a little bit. So that's good news. But these are going to continue to push through Lawrence into Barry County. Um, as we go through the next 30 minutes, I, I let's see, it's 3.06. So by 